All the details for the Richards Mountain Way can be found in the video description. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you like the video, please don't forget to click the like button, it really helps me out. And I would really appreciate it if you comment on my video. If you click the notification button, you won't miss any of my videos. Well, morning folks. This morning I am going to have a chicken korma with rice, a thousand calorie one. Okay, so that's boiling now. Well, I'm waiting for it to boil, I should say. And I'm going to have a coffee with one of these coffee bags here. Just getting sort of stuff out now. Just made a coffee. Let's get my boots on. It's, it wasn't cold last night, I didn't even need my thermal top. I uh, didn't need a hot water bowl. It was six, nearly seven Celsius outside, temperature. Let's put this on for a second while I drink my coffee, I think. But uh, it's really not that cold. Put this down me on there. Uh, Take the tent out, get all the stuff out, take the tent down. Ah, it's good to have a coffee in the morning. Definitely need it. <coughs> well, that's me all packed away, got all my rubbish in the bin. Just sending a satellite message on the spot to say I'm okay, as a phone signal here. Next to no wind at the moment, might be different at the top. Look at that view. This is a little tarn on the way up along the ridge. There's quite a lot of flies around here. It's getting quite warm actually. Good thing about wild camping, you get up these places before there's loads of people. Well, this is a lot easier than it looked on the map, it looked a bit steep in places, but maybe I'm half asleep. It's definitely a trail for somebody who loves mountains. This trail I'm making, I can see Keswick. Or as I call it, Keswick. Yeah, I've never ever done this uh, walk along here. So I've just come up from there. And I am going this way. This is a really awesome trail, man. Yeah, well, the trail details will be in the videos below for the Richards Trail. The Richards Mountain, I think, what should I call it? The Richards Mountain Way, Lake, Richards Lake District Mountain Way, or that, nah, Richards Mountain Way. That's what I think I'll call it. I just come from over there and um, down there, I believe that's Cat Bells down there, which I'm heading to in a bit. It's 
So heading for Cat Bells and then Keswick. Too tired to keep stopping for tripod shots at the moment. Approaching the summit of Cat Bells in a bit. And I'm getting closer. <laughs> That's why I saw one person up there. A few people have passed me. come down from there I couldn't really film it because there was loads of people and now I'm going along here so I've got to figure out a route after Keswick there's just been an incredible amount of people up here as you can imagine it I think it must be one of the most popular routes in the Lake District there's loads coming up now Man, that was so busy. Pretty much at the bottom now. Now it's a long walk into Keswick. Fairly long walk. Yeah, there's a sign for cat bells. And I've made it to the road at the bottom. God, oh, knackered. So knackered. I just stopped for a snack. I just had some of this chocolate. Two of these beef jerky things. One of these. And I'm going to have a coffee with some water i got. Okay, it's quite low light in the... Would so I'm not sure how well this is coming out, but this is part of the Cambrian way, which I've done. Was it last year or the year before? Okay, it's rubbish time. The routes, I'm pretty sure I've got a decent route from here all the way into Penrith. By Glen Riding, I've got to go over a pass near Halvenen. I've been up there with a big backpack before, a year, probably 10 years ago. Some information there if you want to read it. Looks like they're building something over there. I don't know why, it looks like a multi story car park. So I'm just walking in Keswick, uh, just on a back road from the, t the main road of the uh, town centre at the moment. So tomorrow is going to be the highest point on my pass. Um, heading up towards uh, Castle Rigstone Circle in that sort of direction at the moment. Oh, this is new. It's closed at the moment though. And his pantry. Another new thing. It's closed as well, sadly. But it might be open when you come past on the Richards Mountain Way. Anyone who's walked up here also recognise the phone transmitter there been there for years and we carry on and up here and on the other side of the uh, ravine here is the uh, campsite which I'm not saying that but that is an option if you're doing the um, Richards Mountain Way yeah still on the path up to the uh, what people use to go up to the stone circle okay I don't know where that is whether I've well just come from or where I'm going. Well it looks like the campsite's open. I stayed here a couple of times before. It's not really busy at the moment. Probably not going to do too many tripod shots to be honest. Absolutely knackered. Old tree there. So I'm not actually going to go to the uh, stone circle on this occasion. I might put a picture up there for you. It's going to be really busy there at the moment anyway. Actually, anyone wishing to visit Castle Rick who doesn't want to do this trail, there is actually a bus stop here. So this is the bus stop. Keswick, the 555. Yeah, so it's the 555 bus that stops here. Castle Lane, this stop. And... 
I believe you walk up this way if you're going to the stone circle. However, I am going this way. Could have stayed on the road. <laughs> so I went into the farmland and then back out again. So it was a bit of a waste, but I have got to cut down through this farmland. See two walkers coming up down in the field, but I can't see anyone up on uh, the ridge up there. So just walking through farmland at the moment. It's not it's not really far through farmland. It looks like he's chilling out up there, doesn't it? Alright mate. <laughs> so just come to this signpost. I believe I've got to go that way, I think. So I've got to go over this bridge here. Right, just come through this farm here. Then I'm going up here up this way I, I think I overlaid in my bag with a way too many liquids but it will be lighter tomorrow when I go over the big bit at the moment I'm going over high crag which is just a hill basically but still my bag is so heavy it's unbelievable oh, there's a bit of a track here oh this is stunning really stunning I have to get a tripod out, <laughs> even though I haven't got much energy. But I've got to keep an eye on where I'm going as well at the same time. I think I'm going to have to get this tripod out. I need some tripod shots, I think, now. So over there I can see the path going up the Skiddle, which has been up quite a few times in all weathers, and done quite a few routes on that. There's a really steep route going down as well in the Scree, which I did, I seem to remember. And how is it? Blencathra? 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 God, it's gone on my head. It's a famous mountain in the Lake District with the ridge. I think I might have done the ridge years ago. I've definitely been up Blencathra. Hard to believe it's early spring, start of spring. even a little tarn just there. I might just go and have a look at it. Looks like a good place to camp actually, but it could be a bit fly ridden. I think just the water is stagnant. You wouldn't want to swim in there or drink the water. I, I wouldn't even drink it if I filtered it. So I found a place. Not exactly out there in the woods, so it's supposed to be windy tonight, so it should be alright. This tent should be alright. 